Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. Hey, first thing I want to say is I apologize. I did catch a strike on YouTube for my wireless hacking video. Um, so I got to be careful about what I show you guys here on YouTube. Um, but I do want to let you know I have all plans to continue to create good ethical hacking content to teach you how to do pr proper pen testing um, for your clients and for your family members and to educate you on um, security. So. Um, with that being said, I do I do need to read a disclaimer, um, and real quick. So all the demos that I do on um, Hacker 101 channel, I perform these demos on my own equipment. I have permission, you know, um, this is my equipment, so nothing illegal. Um, I do not support any illegal activities, and you should always have permission before you do any hacking related activities, um, and preferably if you're working with a client, you'll have a written agreement. All right, so with all that being said, um, let's continue. So I'm going to show you guys how to hack MySQL um, on Metasploitable 2. Um, so if you've watched previous videos, uh, we have went through all the different um, services on the Metasploitable 2 server, and we've hacked various things like SSH, Telnet, and so forth. So today I'm going to show you how to hack MySQL. Um, MySQL is a database server. All right, so first thing, let's load up Kali. All right, let's see. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to pen test um, using using Nmap. So Nmap can help you do a, quite a few things. It can help you, you know, discover um, machines on a network, but it also can um, do um, script functionalities like brute force testing. Um, um, so we can do a brute force against like MySQL. So first thing I want to do, um, let's go ahead and scan the um, Metasploitable 2 server within Map. And we're going to do that. Just uh, we're going to do a service scan. So cap, um, lowercase SV, and then we're going to do 192, my IP address of my Metasploitable server, and um, we're going to do port 3306. Port 3306 is MySQL database server port, so we're going to scan only that port um, for the sake of this video, so it'll be quicker. So let's go ahead and scan um, my, for MySQL. And then we're going to, so, and once we do this, then I'm going to show you two scripts that you can use that are built in for Nmap. Uh, one is uh, MySQL Brute Force. And what that'll do is that will check username and passwords to try to find user accounts, like the root user account or a guest account. Um, then the second script that I'm going to show you is um, the MySQL empty password um, script. And what that does is that'll run through um, MySQL and check for user accounts like root and guest and make sure that they um, have passwords applied to them. Um, and if they don't, then it'll notify us and let us know that there are no passwords on those accounts. All right, so you see the Nmap scan ran. We have, it came back, um, port 3306 is open. That's MySQL, uh, MySQL 5.0.51a, and it's on Ubuntu. All right, so we have, we, so we have this verified. Our, our Metasploitable 2 server is running MySQL. So let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and grab a command here. And um, I'm going to paste it in, and I'm, I'll explain it. So you have the Nmap. You're calling the Nmap program, and you're going to say dash dash script. That's how you load any script in Nmap. And um, then you're going to say equals MySQL brute. And then we're going to type in the IP address of the server, right, or our Metasploitable 2 server. So this scan takes quite a while because it's going to brute force several thousand um, accounts, right? So well, that would take us, you know, an hour or so probably to complete. So I've already ran the scan right here. So I went ahead and put in the Nmap scan dash script MySQL brute IP address of my Metasploitable 2 server. It did the regular Nmap scan, found the services. It did a brute force scan on MySQL. It found a root account and it found a guest account, right? Valid credentials. It says it was able to log in, right? So this is the, My, the Nmap script, MySQL brute script.
but I want to show you a different script, um, the one called the empty password script. So now we have confirmed that there is a root account and a guest account on MySQL server. So now let's use the nmap script called MySQL dash empty dash password. And we're going to type in the IP address of the server. All right, go back over the command again. Nmap dash dash script equals. We're going to use a different script now. MySQL dash empty dash password is the name of the script. And what it's going to do is it's going to run through a list of usernames and it's going to verify whether they have a password or not. So let's hit enter. And um, let's see. Oh, I spelled I spelled empty wrong. See typo here. Okay, let's try again. All right, so that's going to scan. And it's going to check to see if there are any accounts, root or guest accounts, that do not have a password, a blank password. And um, you would do this, like say you're performing a an, an uh, pen, a pen test on a client's network. You, you find a MySQL server. You know, you want to check to see if, if it has proper credentials on that uh, MySQL server. Okay. All right, and we notice here it says the root account has an empty password. So this is telling me that the MySQL server running on the Metasploitable 2, um, on the Metasploitable 2 virtual machine, is, um, has a root account with no password. So, so we can confirm that. Let's connect to MySQL, type MySQL. Um, let's do, um, we're going to do login as a user, so I dash u, root dash h for the host and we're going to type in the ip address of the server all right and this is how you connect and then dash p all right and it says all right so we have no password on that server right so we just want to hit enter and um what i did i already knew about this error right here um but i wanted to show you that, um, just in case you didn't have the error how to do it but if you do get this error just um type in that is um, dash dash skip dash SSL. And the reason that error is because this is a very old version of MySQL um, that made it splitable to um, virtual machines, kind of outdated on purpose. So let's do skip SSL, ask for password. Aha, no password. We have MySQL access on the server, right? So what we did is we scanned the, we scanned my, the MySQL server using the MySQL brute script in, in map. We found that it had a, a user account called root and a user account called guest. And then we took the in map script called MySQL empty password and we checked those two user accounts to make sure they had valid passwords on, on the MySQL server. And it turns out that the root account has no password. So that's a huge vulnerability right there. Um, common misconfigurations on people's networks um, can cost them, you know, getting hacked. So, you know, what, now so you ask, all right, what, we got access to this MySQL server, so what can we do? So um, in this database in particular, let's look at the past usernames. So we'll say select user from the host and the password Let's view all the MySQL usernames, right? So we can see what their passwords are. And you see root and guest, they have no password, right? And then you got this other Debian system maintenance account that has no password, right? So this is a particularly vulnerable operating system, you know, um, but you, you do find people that misconfigure servers all the time when you're performing a pen test. So I hope you learned something from this video. And um, hit the sub hit the subscribe button, and um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.